getting good grades, taking interesting courses, having your transcript sing with all your accomplishments, that's very important. Well, scholarship committees are looking at, yes, you need to have good grades, but then beyond that, they're looking at both the breadth and the depth of the courses that you're taking. So by depth, I mean, are you taking the most rigorous courses in your discipline? It's not unheard of for scholarship applicants to be taking graduate level courses as an undergrad. They want to see that you're taking the most advanced courses. If there's an honors track, you're taking it. If there is potential for taking graduate level courses, that those are things that you're pursuing. That's what's going to make you stand out. Scholarship committees are pretty smart. They're going to be taking a look at those things and wanting to see that you actually challenge yourself and you spent most of your time at the University of Illinois doing a lot of learning. A great way to maintain connections with faculty is to take a second course. Now that second course will be an upper level course. So if you've done a great job in that first course you took with the faculty, you could go to her, if you see that she's teaching a graduate seminar, you could go to her and say, you know, I think I'd like to try taking your graduate seminar. Scholarships are also interested in the breadth of the courses that you're taking. They're looking for well-rounded people. None of them are looking for somebody who's pigeonholed specialist in one thing and can't talk about the rest of the world or communicate with, with somebody who's from a different discipline. Breadth of courses is that you go outside of your major and explore taking courses, say, in philosophy. Take a course in a field that you don't know well, but you might find applicability in your own work.